hello hello good evening guys thank you for joining this late night stream um tonight is just a quick hangout i just want to go through and share with you guys my eight ten mini setup just one check one check let me just check this microphone thank you for joining this late night all right, so I think we're live now. Um, I just quickly want to come up here today and then share with you guys my something that I'm trying to do to help improve some of the stuff I do on this channel, uh, mainly because I want to try and take a look and see if I can improve my multicam workflow. Um, I want to see if I can use this A10 Mini to sort of enlarge and expand a few of the stuff that i do on this channel and be able to do it a lot better um so i just want to quickly walk you guys through my setup um if you're in the chats and you can hear me uh, let me know how my audio sounds this is a new setup so we're testing it all out so let me know guys in the chat if you can hear my audio properly and how my audio is coming along right as well so leave me a comment let me know how my audio sounds um, so I just want to quickly go through and share with you guys my a Mini setup that I'm trying to put together for my channel that will theoretically help me speed up my multicam workflow for when I'm doing product reviews, when I'm doing uh, tutorials um, for Lightroom, Photoshop and stuff like that. I want to be able to speed up that workflow because now it's taking me a little bit more time because I record the screen separately, record the audio, uh, video separately from my camera and then I bring it all in and do the picture in picture stuff. But I want to see if I can use the A10 Mini setup to do all of that in quickly and, and see if I can, how best I can mix it all up before um, the audio hits at my recorder. So thanks Brian for letting me know oh, this sounds good. Thanks Brian. Um, so I'm going to walk you guys through, I'm going to show you guys my desktop currently, how I have stuff set up with the A10. And then let me know if you guys have any better ideas of what I can do to improve or or any of that sort. Let me know as well. So um, first off, you can see I have four cameras or four items, let's say four devices plugged into the ATEM. I'm going to go to my overhead view so you can see what my decks looks like right now. So this right here is my overhead um, and you can see this is my ATEM. This is my laptop that is plugged into the ATEM. And I have right here the camera that you're looking at. Let me put on my picture in picture. So the camera that you're looking at in my picture in picture is my A7 III that is right here. And I can show you that using this camera here, which is my camera four. And what I'm using camera four for right now is something with this handheld that I can easily move around to show you guys stuff. So that's my A7 III sitting there on the slider that is filming me right now. And if you look right here on my desk as well, you can see I have an Atomos Ninja 5 sitting here. Now, what the Atomos Ninja 5 is doing is that the Atomos is feeding from my A10 Mini um, output, HDMI output, and it's going in here. And what this allows me to do is to be able to start recording everything right here on the Atomos. So whenever I cut through to a scene, automatically the Atomos is recording. So what I intend to do with this is to see how fast this will help me with my editing because if I'm able to get majority of these cuts pre-recorded and showing up like that, at the end of the workflow when I go back to editing, um, most of the cuts will already be done because it's been recorded to the Ninja V um, like that. So that's what I'm trying to do. Um, this MacBook feeds into input number two. The A7 III is feeding in, into input number one. Um, then I have the a6400 right here which is doing this movement around it's feeding into my camera 4 and my camera 3 it's this overhead rig which is my a60 x6000 um on the x6000 i'm using um an old vintage lens so i'm using a old um recall 45 millimeter f2 lens up there 
um, for my overhead manual focus manual lens I like to use a lot of manual lenses sometimes because they are really great and and cheap for uh, video so in most of my videos I use a lot of manual lenses right so that's what I have set up going um, a7 III has the Tamron 28 to uh, 75 millimeter on it the a6400 I have here I have the Tamron 20 millimeter f2.8 on that one um, that noise is that that lens is a really a bit noisy so what I've done is I usually turn it the autofocus off and use it in manual focus mode just to cut down on the on the noise that it makes because that focus noise is really bugging me um, the few other things that I'm trying to get going here is to be able to see if I can get my sound sounding a little bit better the audio um, and if i go into the atem setup right here on this computer you can see that the atem comes with a built-in mixer as well so right now i am here in my house with my kids running upstairs going crazy and going wild but as you can see a lot of that background noise has been cut out and all i have done so far in terms of audio processing is just to turn on the expander to try to cut down some of the background noise as you can see and that is doing a pretty good job at this time um the atem also comes with a bunch of other stuff that i want to take a look and and start working with so outside of dynamics i also have here an eq right built into the hardware and so what i'm doing right now all this setup all this stream it's basically going straight all the i um the, all the devices are going straight into the atem and the atem is feeding directly into my desktop which is connected to um which is going into stream yards as a as a usb kind of webcam right so i'm using that webcam i'm not using um what do you call it i'm not using obs anymore um it may depend i might use it uh, obs sometimes but i'm not using it obs with this stream this stream is straight from the webcam built into the atem straight into um stream yards right um the the thing i have is that um, i was concerned about the audio processing because normally when i go through obs i process the audio a little bit with a few um vst effects that i use in obs before my sound goes out but now i'm bypassing obs because i'm able to process everything and, and add on a, a little bit of effects right within the atem um software control right um to control the atem i just have my network connected so i have the atem connected by network port if i go to camera 3 the overhead um and i pull this up a bit you can see i have this ethernet cable plugged into the atem this ethernet cable basically it's what's allowing me to control the atem from my laptop or from any other computer on my network um and as you can see this is the atem's output this output you can basically configure as a preview or you can configure as the program out in my case i'm using it as a program out and that's going into this it atomos um ninja 5 recorder and this records everything on the fly um when i finish i just have to take out this ssd plug that ssd into my computer and start editing so that's the workflow that i'm looking at putting up um just to see how it works with the atem right that's to see how that will work with the atem um but i want to take a look and play around with it so this is what i'm testing uh testing scenario right now to see uh if this works out well for my youtube workflow because if it does then it's going to save me a lot of time in in post processing uh because i will try to get most of the cuts happening right here uh, within the atem and record it directly to the Atomos Ninja 5. So I'm going to go into Lightroom right now and since we are already here um, This is a shot that I shot a few days ago when I went out with Paul and Brian to I believe this was um, Pot credit um, So I'm just gonna walk through just like a normal tutorial uh, But if you see here, you can see that my picture in picture is not really in a good spot. It seems to be taking over some pieces of the image so i'm going to fix that quickly uh, if i go back into the atem controller and i close this off 
and I go to the switcher tab right here within the palettes in the DVE this right here would be my picture in picture uh, and as you can see here I have camera one set as the picture in picture and I can resize it right here so I'm going to resize this to um, let's say let me see if 18 percent would be good and I'm going to move it a little bit out of the way I'm going to reduce the size a little bit all I'm trying to do because I usually try to make my um, picture in picture fit into that little corner there where the histogram shows up in Lightroom so I can just play around a little bit with this and position them properly right somewhere right about there I think it's okay right so if I switch back to my Lightroom and see how it looks let me tap go back into Lightroom right and now it's in a better position I like that position better um, I think it works out better in that corner for me so that's the basic simple uh, picture in picture setup and this right now allows me to go ahead and record all my edits while I'm working um, and quickly don't have to even bother about let me start off in the calibration tab as I do this quick edit it's a little demo still testing I want to shift my blues a little bit gonna bring this up a little bit just gonna do a quick edit you know Let's balance it out a bit let me go back into my basics so that's just how it works sometimes I don't I don't go according to the traditional of going from top to bottom I start off wherever i want to based on what i'm looking at to do uh, i'm gonna play around a little bit i think i'm gonna make this a little bit darker um contrast boost it up a bit <laughs> yes brian it is it is it is it is pretty pretty good it's it's pretty great that's why i've been looking for this thing for a while um by the way i want to give a good shout outs to um this shop in downtown toronto it's called um the dv shop they were able to get this to me as quickly as <laughs> anything else this thing has become so hard to find anywhere in the market because of how good it is so shout outs to come um, um the the dv shop for uh, getting me this thing right on time um this is how it goes and you have a lot of customizability customizability with this device on what you can do uh, it has a few limitations but for me as i said it works fine um some people prefer the Aiden mini pro because it has the um recording straight from into to usb uh, but for me i thought the Aiden mini pro was an overkill for my need uh some because it, it's about eight hundred dollars Canadian. Well, this one, in terms of price, is a, uh, about less than half of that. But uh, for my work for this works out better because I already own the Atomos Ninja V, and I'm able to take the video out from here and into the Ninja V and record directly to that Ninja V um, um, that way. So I don't really need to record to uh, the USB. That maybe was the only feature for me in the Pro that I, I was looking at, but. Outside of that, I don't really need Modicam because I'm just a one-man band and I can't. It's easier for me just switching with this um, one-touch buttons right here. Um, so I, I like that better than than going through the the Pro, right? Um, the Pro may be a good value for some people, um, but for me, the 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 Mini works out the way it is um, for me because I, I can record straight to my Atomos. all right so that's it i just wanted to quickly pop in here and show you guys um what i'm trying to do with the Aiden mini um as i finish and go through the setups i will go ahead and we can go on and share some of these stuff as well 
um, if you guys have any questions leave it in the comment below and we can discuss this I will do a um, little video on this on how if you're a small um, business or a church or something of that sort you can set this up to be able to run a full presentation um, and we can talk about that in a future video uh, but for now I just quickly wanted to go through and test out this setup and see how well it will work for me uh, so I'm gonna take the video that I've just recorded on my Ninja V um, the audio and everything going go into um, edit workflow test out a few stuff um, and then see how it, it, it works out for me all right guys thanks for joining me in this uh quick stream today um it was just a test so i might delete it i might leave it up um doesn't matter but that's that's what i wanted to do i just wanted to quickly go through this setup and test and make sure that everything is working the way i expected it to before i start to use it for um recording my videos and for my usual wednesday streams with the guys so if you guys don't know we do live streams every wednesday night so watch out for tomorrow we are talking about um stock photography and watch it out it's going to be on paul's channel link will be in the description check it out and subscribe to paul's channel as well as well as brands and salams so mix photos i mean and we'll be live tomorrow at 7 30 eastern standard time all right guys take care and as usual stay blessed and keep creating